TV. Hi, today I'm here with Keith Grace and he's participating in the Port Clinton Art Festival here. Welcome Keith, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how long have you been participating in art fairs? Uh, for 20 years now. Wow, do you do many a year? Um, uh, right now I'm probably doing between 16 and 18 and that includes both uh, fine art festivals, outdoor and gallery setting shows. Well, that's a lot. It keeps you busy. Yeah, it does. It sure does. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your art. What medium do you use? Um, I use mixed medium. I do a lot of collage work, mm -hmm. and um, I start all my work with um, pieces of maps or typography, and then uh, I build a painting in layers over that. <laughs> and what do you enjoy about um, participating in the art fairs? Um, well, you know, it's just uh, you know, actually a dream to be able to make a living off of my mm -hmm. artwork, first of all. And it's really nice to meet the people that, that buy and collect my work. Um, when you're in galleries, it's nice to, you know, to be represented by galleries, but at art shows, you get to meet the people who buy it, and oftentimes you get to see it you know, in their homes if you deliver it to their homes. Or mm -hmm. A lot of times I enjoy people sending me pictures of how they've hung the artwork in there. Oh, that's nice. You, know. you can see where it ended up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what inspires you to create art? Do you have certain themes that you use? Um, you know, I do, but I... I um, uh, it can be anything, you know. Pop culture is a huge, you know, inspiration. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my kids were always, you know, big uh, inspiration. But you know, it can be anything. I do a lot of animal-related, you know, dogs and cats, and and I have no pets at all. They're kind of my pets, mm -hmm. I guess. And, <laughs> um, but then I, I'm doing some figurative work now too, and I've done actually done some abstract work as well. And and um, you know, sometimes you know, people say, "Oh, you should just kind of stick to one theme," but I, I don't agree with that. I think you, mm -hmm. you kind of have to experiment and right. evolve, you know, right. into different, you know, it's a journey thing to do. Exactly. Yeah. And are there any artists that inspire you? Um, any tons other? of them. <laughs> you know, Ed Paschke was, uh, you know, one of Chicago's most famous um, painters. Uh, he passed away um, maybe about five years ago, and he was a huge inspiration um, for me and. Um, actually, I changed my entire color palette, you know, based on one painting that I saw of his mm -hmm. at a museum show. And, and uh, um, as time went on, I was fortunate enough to actually meet him and, uh, you know, I have a piece of his work. So that's probably my, you know, biggest inspiration and, and greatest story because I actually got to meet, you know, an idol. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so is there anything else that you wanted to um, let people know about your art? Or? Anything you might be doing in the future? No, I, you know, I travel all over the country doing mm -hmm. shows, and um, you know, my work is, uh, you know, I keep my websites very uh, current. And mm -hmm. what is your website? It's uh, grace-design.com. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wish you continued success. Thank you.